so now for pre-training, they so now we look at the data set details, the model architecture, what was D model, what was the number of layers, what were the number of parameters and so on. So they used a, a larger corpus than what we had seen in the GPT model. So again by modern uh, standards, these are very, very small corpora, people train on much larger corpora today, but at least at that time this was pretty large, right. So uh, 800 million words in the book corpus and another 2.5, 2500 million or 2.5 billion words from Wikipedia. The vocabulary size was 30,000, right. And in the second half of this lecture, we will talk about what does vocabulary mean, how do you get a vocabulary, what is a tokenizer, what are the different types of tokenizer and all that. But for now, just as we had assumed in GPT, you could think of vocabulary as all the unique words in your language and you could just think of tokenization as you are separating on spaces. Wherever you see a space, you count it as a new word, right, the word following it as a new word, right. The context length was 5 and 2 tokens, okay. Uh, this again is same as GPT. As I said, there were two versions, the base version and the large version. So the base version had 12 layers, the large version has 24 layers. Uh, the hidden size, which means the D model, right. So the hidden size is actually D model. That also varied. Uh, the smaller one, the base one had only, uh, had 768 dimensional embedding and the large one had 1024 dimensional embedding. And The number of attention heads was 12 and 16 respectively. And then you had the uh, feed forward network. So as we had seen earlier also, so the hidden layer is four times the size of D model. So it was either 3072 if it was 768 or 4096 if it was 1024, right. So if you look at it, right, I mean this is once you know the basic transformer architecture, these are the only details you need to know. How many layers, what was the D model size, number of attention heads per layer and the size of the feed forward network here, right. I mean, the, if you have this information, you know exactly what the network looks like and of course the vocabulary size also, right. Uh, okay, so now we will calculate the parameters. While calculating the parameters, we will uh, remember that you had the token embeddings, the segment embeddings and the position embeddings. So let us try to calculate the parameters now just as we had done for the GPT model, right. So first the embedding layer, embedding layer has three types of embeddings. So the token embedding, so you have a vocabulary of size 30,000, each uh, word is represented by a 768 dimensional vector. I am just calculating for the base model, you can similarly compute for the large model. So this is 23 million parameters. Segment embeddings, as I said there are only two segment embeddings, so it does not have many parameters. Uh, position embeddings, so you have 5 and 2 uh, positions because that is the max sequence length you have and you have 768 dimensional representations, so another 0.4 million. So this is roughly 23.4 million, right, this is the embedding layer. Then for one layer, the self-attention, yeah, again ignoring the bias. So you have these three matrices, WK, WQ, WV. Uh, so each of those, uh, okay. So there were 12 attention heads, three matrices. Each one takes the input representation and converts it to a 64 dimensional embedding. And then when you multiply the 64 dimensional embedding by 12, you again get back 768, right. So you have the input 768 dimensional embeddings, the 12 attention heads generate 12 uh, 64 dimensional embeddings, then you are going to concatenate them to again get back 768 dimensional. This is again the basic transformer architecture, the basic transformer operation that you are familiar with. So then uh, each of these is going to be 768 cross 64 because it is going to take a 768 dimensional vector and convert it to a 64 dimensional vector and there are three such matrices. So that is where how the calculation is done. I think it should be clear because we did the same for the GPT model also. Ah, this is the WO, right. So we also have the WO matrix. So once you concatenate, you have the linear layer. So the linear layer is 768 cross 768. So that is 0.6 million. Then the feed forward network is takes a uh, 768 dimensional ve vector converts it to a 3072, then 3070 gets converted back to 768 and then you have the biases, right. So this again is, oops, yeah. So total 7 million for a single layer and you have 12 layers, so that would become 84 million. 
Now the total number of parameters is the embedding layer parameters plus the transformer block parameters. It comes to around 107.4. In the paper, it's mentioned in 110 million. So as I said, there are some biases and other things which we may not have counted. Yeah. No, they don't, right? That's what. Yeah, so 768, right? Ah, the number of rows will be different. The first matrix will have as many rows as the number of embeddings. The second matrix will have only two because there are only two segments you are considering. And the third would have as many as the positions, which is 5 and 2. Ah. Yeah, so this is row 1. So, so this is segment 1, right? So this is row 1, the 768 dimensional vector. This is position 1, so the 768 dimensional vector for position 1 and this is the word CLS, so the 768 dimensional vector for 768, so all these 3 will get added, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this is roughly comparable to what we saw for the GPT model, right? That was also in the same ballpark if I remember correctly. I think it was 117 million or something, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, also the actual vocabulary size was 30,522. We did all the calculations with 30,000 for simplicity. Hence, there might be slight difference in the number of parameters. Okay.